and calls for action today from animal rights protesters. That comes after our exclusive Cairo Team 7 investigation into a monkey that was boiled alive inside an Everett drug research company. Reporter Chris Halsney spent months detailing that death and a number of other primate abuses that sparked a rally today. Monkey masks, signs of monkey killers, all part of the theatrics of gaining attention of folks walking in downtown Seattle today. The target of these animal rights protesters, the Japanese consulate right inside this building. Cairo Team 7 investigators first aired a series of reports earlier this month detailing how a Japanese-owned company called SNBL has been caught repeatedly in documented violations of the Federal Animal Welfare Act. In addition, we went undercover inside the Everett-based laboratory. Along the way, we confirmed that a healthy female macaque monkey was left trapped in her cage last November, then run through a 180-degree rack washer, scalded to death. I was appalled. Uh, I went through all types of emotions because this little monkey died in terrible pain, and I was thankful that you had this report and alerting the public to what was happening in that lab. Two dozen protesters operating under PETA, or People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, told us they want prosecutors and police to press ahead with criminal charges for SNBL employees involved in the boiled monkey death. If this were a human baby, there would be such an outrage and nobody would stand for it. But because it's a primate, um, people are, they have been allowed to get away with it, and I hope they won't this time. I hope they will prosecute. Everett police tell us detectives have started a criminal investigation. They did so after seeing our story. They are looking into possible animal cruelty charges, both against the people involved in the boiled monkey death and against the company. While that process drags on, protesters here hope to put pressure on the Japanese government to in turn, pressure SNBL to clean up its act. They've really uh, taken a callous opinion towards animals. And for a company that has a mission statement that begins with uh, the value of life, it, it seems wholly inconsistent. And we're hopeful that the CEO will just put a, put a stop to it by firing the people who are responsible. I tracked down that SNBL employee accused of placing that monkey inside the rack washer. He declined an on-camera interview, but he said he quit the next day. He has not spoken with the police department, but Everett PD says they will be speaking with him soon. Reporting in downtown Seattle, Chris Halsney, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. Now, we talked to the senior assistant to the General Consulate of Japan this afternoon. He says SNBL is a private corporation and his government had not spoken with anyone there regarding animal care. SNBL denies it violated any federal laws in the monkey death, calling the incident an unfortunate accident.